Hi Kate, guess where I am? I'm downtown with Rosemary and Ash. Yay! Liberty Bell Center is closed. So we're just wandering around and we are going to go see about riding a horse and buggy. Ooh. We're gonna ride a carriage. What's the horse's name? Bubblicious. Bubblicious. And I'm I love Ambassador it. Abe. Oh, I'm looking to our carriage ride. And where are you guys from? I'm from here. Awesome. We're from California. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do you want me to talk about? Oh, but we don't really even know where to start. Let's start with what's going on right now, okay. and then we'll go backwards. Okay. okay. All right. Um, right now, Philadelphia is about 1.5 million people in population. All right. And we occupy 142 square miles. All right. And inside that, we got a lot of cool things. Um, we have over 50,000 acres of parks that are all public and all free. If you got one and you want to, you can ride a horse the most all. If you want to go to school here, we have in the Philadelphia area, 85 colleges and universities. And downtown is a pretty cool place because it's home to 90,000 people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We only got five legs, we have four. Okay, wait. Party up. Very responsive. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he's great. We've been together for five years as partners. He is a wonderful horse. He is fantastic. <laughs> he's all verbal commands for the most part. He goes right from left. He has three forward gears and reverse. We can parallel park <laughs> if we have to. He has, he has a two and four point suspension. Yeah. <laughs> cool. um, let's see, other cool things about Philadelphia. We have a lot of firsts here. And it's not just like the first fire department. And the first post office. We had the first sewers in America. We also had the first long distance phone cable from New York to Philadelphia. See, I did not know that. That is awesome. And into that building. But, you know, the Boers building was built in 1895, the bottom half was. How many horsepower? One and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and it was America's first commodities exchange. Of course, this area used to be a big commercial district for a really long time. Um, the Riverside is our city's heart, and everything happens around it. The reason they call this area Old City, in between the layout of Philadelphia in 1683, and we got sewers in 1801, no one lived past 7th Street. Oh. Everything happens over here. Oh, and the wow. city goes like 3rd by 1750, the 5th by 1770, and finally 7th by 1801. And wow. we doubled our population in the previous 10 years. Wow. In 1790 and 1800, we went from 50 to 110,000 people. Wow. That was brought by most of the Irish immigration. This is a very important building. Um, Carpenters Hall. The Carpenters wrote a bunch of hit songs back in the 70s. Okay. Wait, not those guys. Um, they built Philadelphia. Okay. They are not a family, but a labor guild. They were organized in England in the 1300s. They're that old. When the Great Fire happens in London, all the building codes change all across Europe. Because of this, William Penn brings the buildings over here. They were established here in 1724, and they're still an active labor union. Wow. And speaking of some more of the science, on our left, there's an awesome museum, the Chemical Heritage Foundation, a museum of chemistry, okay. from alchemy to plastics, and everything in between. And their research facility, too. Their archives have Sir Isaac Newton's notes about the Philosopher's Stones. Wow. <laughs> on our left, is Thomas Bond. This man was a doctor sitting over in Europe, an equator also, whoa buddy. He began the Pennsylvania Hospital. Oh. The first hospital in America, which opens in 1754 in Philadelphia for the relief of the sick poor in the city. Oh. This is the thing about all this going on. In 1754, we had a hospital for the poor, higher public education at the University of Pennsylvania, and a literacy rate of 98%. And the death rate is like 22 years away. Yeah. Wow. This is Welcome Park. Welcome was William Penn's ship's name. And on the ground is the city plan of Philadelphia as Thomas Holm designed it. This layout is actually 2,000 years old. It was first mm. used by Roman military garrisons. The Roman layout had the tents on the blocks. The corner squares are the muster guards for the soldiers and the center square is where the officers stayed. Mm. But here, the block system is set up to make it fireproof and the open spaces are fire breaks and public gathering grounds. And it really worked. The worst fire ever in the city's history was 1963. We lost eight blocks, and four of them were a chemical factory. Wow. And here is City Tavern on the right. This was um, rebuilt in 1975. 
but the Congress met here first and last. Most of the time, the Declaration of Independence in there in August. And when they're doing this, there's a protest out front. Huh. The town people. You're gonna make our kids fight your stupid war, you stupid rich guys? No way. Actually, John Rutledge in North Carolina, he proposes that we use as a basis for our Constitution the one the Iroquois had. Because huh. their Confederacy was 500 years older than our country at that time. Yeah. And they had provisions for all the people in their Constitution, and they used it as a basis for ours.